Hi Raven users, welcome to the quick start guide for Raven 3.7. In this video, we will show you how to use and configure all the new features in Raven. The best new feature we have added is batch gestures. This allows users to assign any hand movement to a batch command. This also allows users to have different gestures assigned for different layouts depending on the task being performed. Finally, there is a new autosave feature for easier customization and better workflow. Users no longer need to save layouts anymore, and after saving the Raven session, it will be automatically added as the default layout. This saves a few steps in customizing the Raven layouts and makes it much easier to use. Let's begin. First thing we want to do is launch the Raven software. And in the dashboard, we will launch Pro Tools. Now that we have Pro Tools and the Raven toolbars open, Let's make some custom batch gestures. First thing we want to do is make a three finger drag, zoom in on the selection. So we'll push and hold the batch command for fit selection to window. Under the quick list tab, users will now notice a gestures option. In the gestures, we'll select the three finger swipe right, and to map it to the batch command, we'll hit select. Users will notice the name of the batch command should show up next to the gesture. Hit close and confirm. Now, when we make a selection on our timeline, with a three finger swipe right, it's going to fit that to screen. You can zoom in a little further, three finger swipe right, and it's going to blow it up to fit the screen. Next, we want a three finger drag left to zoom out the session. So push and hold, fit session to window. Enter the quick list, three finger swipe right, select it, and map it to the batch command. Close and confirm. Now when we do a three finger drag to the left, it's going to zoom out the whole session. This makes it really easy to focus on a piece of audio here, focus in, and then zoom back out. For these gestures, be sure your fingers all land on the screen at the same time, and then drag. Next, let's make a custom batch command gesture to hide plugins. So we'll push and hold a batch command here. We'll clear it out and give it a name, hide plugins. Give it a color, and in the quick list, under the factory, we'll search for Hide all floating windows. We'll add it to the batch command. Then we will find a gesture to map it to. For this, we're going to use a squeeze. On windows, a three, four, and five finger squeeze are all the same. So select squeeze, hit select to add it to the batch command. Close, confirm. Now we'll open a plugin. And after tweaking the plugin, you could do a squeeze and it's going to hide the plugin. To bring it back, do another squeeze and the plugins back. Next, let's do a couple other custom batch commands. A useful one is very simple, but it's just play. So we'll clear all, key command, spacebar, call this play, stop, give it a color. And in the quick list, under the gestures, we will do a two finger tap to start play. So now we're able to play and stop just with a tap. Let's do another one. We'll do a two finger double tap right here. I'll clear all. We'll do this one. We'll bypass plugins. Give it a color, hit key command, enter shift A. This will be the key command to bypass all the plugins. And in the quick list, we'll do a two finger double tap. We'll go to bypass plugins. So now we're able to select a track. We can play, open the plugin, make our adjustment, and then we can bypass the plugin chain, make the adjustment, stop, select a different area, play, make the tweak, bypass, unbypass, and close it. Now that we have enabled a tap and a double tap, Users will want to make sure their gestures application, right click gestures, settings, we want to make sure enable two finger double tap and three finger double tap are enabled. Users may also want to adjust the response and the jitter if some gestures are not firing off. Next, let's make some custom editing batch commands. I'll open up my floating toolbar and under mute selected region, I will go into the gesture tab, and I will make a rotate counterclockwise, perform a mute selected region. 
So now I can highlight this area here. I could highlight this region with the two finger rotate left. It's going to break and mute that region. You can highlight a region and mute it. Break and mute. That's two key commands in one gesture. Another great gesture is trim and fade. Push and hold the trim and fade. Under the quick list, rotate clockwise, we will map to the trim and fade batch command. Now, this will bring in the edges and put in a fade all in one batch command and gesture. Another great batch command would be undo. So we'll push and hold a button here, hit key command, control Z, call this undo, give it a color. In the quick list, we will make a three finger double tap, do undo. So now I'm able to double tap and undo all of those things I just did. There's your break and mute, trim and fade. Undo, 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 undo. Now let's map a couple more. We'll map the fade in from cursor. I want to do a four finger drag to the right. I want to fade in. So I'll do four finger swipe right, fade in from cursor. And fade out from cursor, we'll do a four finger swipe left. Now if I break this region here, I can do a four finger drag to fade in and a four finger drag left to fade out, undo. So let's assign a couple more batch commands. In our essentials palette, we have the clip gain. So I'll do clip gain up. Will be quick list, three finger swipe up. And then clip gain down, I will make a three finger swipe down. Now I can make a selection, zoom in, zoom in even further, clip gain this area down, clip gain this area up, break and mute, trim and fade, undo, and zoom out, all with gestures without having to move my hands. And now we will save this Raven session. I like to save it with the date. Now, every time we open up this session, these gestures are all going to be mapped on layout one for our quick editing. Next thing I we'll want to do is do some batch commands for a quick recording. So we're going to do that on layout two. So what I want to do is I want to take my quick recording panel. I'm going to save it to my user quick list. I'm going to switch over to layout two. And I'm going to overwrite this panel here with my quick recording panel. And now we're going to map some gestures to the quick recording. Let me make some tracks. Add an input bus. So the first thing I want to do is record and input enable this track. So I'll push and hold record and input enable. In the quick list under the gestures tab, I will do a three finger swipe up to record and input enable. So in each selected tracks, you do a three finger swipe up, record and input will be enabled, swipe up again, it'll be disabled. The next one I want to do is a three finger tap. I want to trigger record. So in the quick list, three finger tap, select it, map it to the batch command. So now with two quick hand movements, I'm able to record and input enable this track and start the recording. Now I want to make a new playlist and start recording. So I'm going to push and hold the new playlist and record batch command. In the quick list, I'm going to do a rotate clockwise, map that to new playlist and record. So now I'm able to just select the track, rotate right, it made a new playlist, starts recording. Now I want to do an undo and record. So push and hold undo and record. In the quick list, rotate counterclockwise. I want to do undo and record. So now I'm able to record, punch in, and I could undo that recording and record again with a rotate left or rotate right to make a new playlist and record. 
Finally, if you were doing a bunch of track stacking, you may want to disable record on this track, mute it, move down, and record again. So we'll do the disable record, batch command here. This will disable record, mute it, scroll down, record enable, and let's actually make it start the recording as well with numpad three. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this a three finger swipe down, disable record, mute down. So now with a three finger swipe down, I'm able to disable record, mute the track, scroll down and start recording again. I do want some of my other gestures from layout one on this layout. So I'll switch back to layout one. I'll save my panel here as zoom gestures. I'm gonna save that to my user quick list on layout two. I'm gonna push and hold here and map it to this one. Zoom gestures. Now I'll just remap a couple of my gestures. Fit session to window is a three finger swipe left. Hide plugins is a squeeze. Fit selection to window is a three finger swipe to the right. Play and stop, that's a very important one. That's our two finger tap. So now I'm able to play, record, punch in, punch out, stop, mute that track, undo record enable, scroll down, do another one. Stop, make a new playlist and record, all with these great gestures. And always, we can go back to layout one and we're back to our editing gestures. So we can mute, trim and fade, undo, zoom in, zoom out. Be sure to save your session. Also, users, if they want, can go into the settings tab and under the switch default layout, you have your gestures layout here. If you load that up, you will load up our custom gesture mapped layout that already has its gestures set up. Now let's switch over to Cubase. Now that we have the Cubase project loaded and our Raven toolbars, we're ready to map some custom batch gestures for Cubase. So the first one we'll want to do is just hide and show plugins. So we'll empty a batch command here. We'll call this hide plugins, give it a color. The key command to hide plugins is shift alt W. And in the quick list under the gestures tab, we will make a squeeze map to hide plugins. So let's go add a plugin here. And now we can make our adjustment to this plugin and hide it with a squeeze. Now to take this one step further, let's do a map that'll hide the plugin and the channel settings window. So we'll clear all, hide chan and plugin. So this is gonna be shift alt W, we'll give that a thousand milliseconds of delay. And then we'll do another key command for control W with a thousand milliseconds of delay. That'll close the channel settings window. We're gonna make this a three finger double tap, map it to the batch command, close and confirm. Now, if we open up our channel editor and our plugin, can make adjustments to the plugin, could enable some things in the channel editor, three finger double tap, hides the plugin and the channel settings window. Another great one is this channel settings window batch command here. So let's map this channel settings project window batch command, control shift P, let's do this a three finger tap. So now we're able to toggle open and close this channel settings window without having to move our hand and always stay in the sweet spot when we're adjusting our settings. Now let's talk about the new autosave feature. 
So users usually would have to save the layout, save the Raven session, and set it as user default. This is no longer necessary. Users can just go into customize mode, move around your batch commands, switch to the next layout, customize. Now, simply just save your Raven session. I like to use the date. And then when we close the Raven, and open it back up, it's going to open up that last layout we were using, and we didn't have to go into the settings and set user default. Users will also notice in the settings tab, we have removed the set user default button, as this is no longer needed, since as soon as you save your Raven session, that's going to become your new default layout. All right. That's all the new features in Raven 3.7. It's unlocked gestures for Windows, and we've added the autosave feature. Hope you guys dig it. Bye.